It has now been nearly five months since the COVID-19 pandemic officially ended. A lot has changed, including how we respond to the virus. And now researchers behind a new study are hoping for better protection using COVID surveillance programs. Cindy Bay live now in Durham with the details for us. Cindy. Steve, as new variants continue to emerge, it seems like our defense against the virus is stronger. But researchers say we can be better protected, and it all comes down to how we respond to the virus. Now that there have been many variants of the coronavirus that have emerged and circulated in the human population, we're, in, we're able to look at how those variants differ from one another in terms of how the immune system sees them. Dr. David Monfiore is part of a new study that can be game-changing when it comes to better COVID-19 vaccines in the future. The study finds a person's immune response to different parts of the virus depends on their previous exposure. People who were um, exposed to the very first Omicron variant as the first exposure to the coronavirus, they mostly reacted to Omicron variants and not to the earlier variants. And then vice versa, people who were um, exposed to the earlier variants tended to react mostly with those and, and poorly against Omicron. The more uh, variety or different variants that you're exposed to, either through infection or vaccination, the more cross-reactive your immunity is. It's an important discovery that Montfiore says could help when updating vaccines. When you boost with updated uh, uh, variant vaccines, you get you know, additional um, improvement of immunity to those um, later variants. As of September, North Carolina has seen a decrease in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. But as the virus continues to change, Montfiore hopes we can get ahead of the game. We can fashion a, a booster that will at least cover those changes that the next variant is likely to also have so we can improve immunity to that part of a new variant. Montfiore says the current vaccines are not doing a very good job of preventing infection, but they continue to do a very good job of preventing serious illness and death. Reporting in Durham, Cindy Bate, mm. ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, the study is a great reminder of the power of our immune system. Cindy, thank you.